I want to ask you guys a set of questions. Are you a beginner in trading? Are you overloaded by the hype of the markets, by all the indicators, by all the mess in the charts? Well, this is the indicator for you. It's the Stochastic RSI. It's easy to use, it's simple, and it's something that I still use every day. But what is the Stochastic RSI? Imagine that you were looking at a pendulum swing. When it goes too far one way, it's likely to revert back the other way. That's similar to the Stochastic RSI, and it can give us an insight whether the market's overbought or oversold, and it oscillates between the two. And what does that do? It gives us an insight into which direction or bias that we have for the next move. Where do we find it? How do we use it? And why is this tool so powerful in trading? Because the Stochastic RSI gives us that edge in the market as to whether something is overbought or oversold. And it oscillates between the two. And if you imagine that as the heartbeat, you can use that in conjunction with the trend. So imagine the heartbeat and then you've got the trend bias. So the trends are the trend and upwards creating those higher highs and higher lows, or it's creating those lower highs and lower lows trending downwards or is creating sideways action. So it's just going, ranging between a certain area within a certain range. If it's trading sideways, you could still use the heartbeat of the RSI to give you that indication. So let's firstly find out where the indicator is, how we use it, and then how we can apply it to our trading. So the indicator is the Stochastic RSI. Get yourself on Trading View and click on Indicators or whatever platform of choice you're using. And then you can pull up the Stochastic RSI here, like I've done so. Just get rid of that. And then what I'll show you is the simplicity of it. So like I say, imagine it's the heartbeat and it's oscillating up and it's oscillating down. As simple as that, guys. Overbought is above this line here, which is the 80 line. Oversold is this line here, and that's the 20 line. So if you have an edge in the market and you know if something's overbought or oversold or trending upwards or trending downwards, you can use this for entries and you can use it for exits. It's as simple as that. The first example is Chainlink. And what I want to do is we want to build an edge in this chart. They've got nothing on the chart at the moment. And what we want to do is firstly, create a bias. Secondly, add in support and resistance. And then we're going to add in the stochastic RSI and see if we can identify any edges in the market. So firstly, are we trading upwards, i.e. bullish, downwards, i.e. bearish, or are we trading sideways? You can see here, that we're trading sideways. So we're trading sideways, we've got our bias that we are actually looking at a range in market. So what we can do is we can add in our range. And remember, we do this like a jigsaw puzzle. How many touches has it got? More touches it's got, the more times or the more chances we have a reaction at this area. So we're having a reaction at this area, Chainlink's pumping at the moment, look at that. So we've got a reaction at that area. That's our strong resistance level. We can build in our support level as well. And you can see, why is this our support level? How many times is it touched? How many times is it respected? So how can we use on this example, the stochastic RSI? We know that it oscillates between overbought and oversold. And we know that we've got a range here. So let's see what happens. Let's use this as an example to start with. Look, over, oversold move to the upside in the RSI, and you've got this huge range here overbought. What's happened during this time is it's come down, price actions come back up, and there's a clue in the market that's telling us that this is not gonna range straight up to the top. And that clue in the market is this stochastic RSI telling us it's overbought and it needs some kind of a pullback. So we got that little bit of a pullback, and you can see that small pullback on price action here before we got this move to the upside after it's hit over sold come back and then you can rinse and repeat this look at this look at the power of this price action is not always hitting top of the range but the stochastics telling us that's as far as it's going to get pull back let's have a look more recently so you can see here stochastic price action doesn't have to be at the bottom of the range but the stochastic is telling us that the bears in this instance have only managed to push, push price action so far down. They've only managed to push price action to this level here. Stochastic's telling us that. We've had a cross and it's come back. Price action's come back. Pull back. Got your pull back. You can see how powerful this tool is and how simple this tool is. 
And what I would do is definitely not trade this. If you're a beginner in trading, you can back test your results. You can find out how much money you can make before you open the door by just identifying patterns, identifying your trading strategy and simplifying it on a trading plan. Then go back and test it. Find out how much money you can make and then live test it with a small account. Bullish example, we've got none other than the big daddy himself, Bitcoin. And you can see here that we are clearly ranging in a market that's making higher highs and higher lows. So our bias is bullish. If our bias is bullish, what are we looking for? We're looking for a pullback. We're looking for the stochastic RSI to tell us that we're oversold. And then we're looking for a continuation of that trend, swimming with the whales rather than swimming against them. So we're looking for a pullback. So if price actions moved up here and the stochastics telling us overbought, are we interested here? No, we're waiting for a pullback. So the stochastic can tell us when we have this pullback, stochastic overbought, or oversold, sorry, and then it's crossed over. It's crossed above the 20. And what happens? A continuation to the upside, continuation to the upside. And you're looking for a pullback here. Looking for a pullback here. What's this telling us? Remember from the last one, what's this telling us? The bears are trying to fight and the bears are trying to fight, but they can only pull price action back down to this level. That's telling us that the bulls have still got momentum. The trend is still intact. Then you've got another move to the upside coincides with this move to the upside pull back rinse and repeat guys test this on the charts yourself simple but effective see you guys might only be little moves these little moves here represent eight percent that little tiny move there represented eight percent that's an eight percent move from just one trade so look at this so simple guys oscillates just up and down up and down overbought oversold what does price action do Exactly the same thing, guys. Oscillates up, oscillates down. Buyers and sellers, buyers and sellers. When's fair value? Built in our support and, uh, and resistance levels. Where's fair value? Pullback, move to the upside. Indicator tells us this. Are we trading sideways? Are we trading bullish? Are we trading bearish? Let me know. Shout out at the screen. I want you guys to understand. I want it to be simple. You can see that we're bearish. This is polka dot on the daily. And we're making a series of lower lows and lower highs. Lower highs, lower lows. So we're bearish on polka dot. Now, are we looking for longs or are we looking for shorts? Because remember, we're going with the trend. We're swimming with the whales and we're flowing with the money. So we're looking for shorts in this instance. We're looking for shorts because polka dot is trading downwards. So RSI in this instance needs to be overbought. Overbought, overbought. What happens here? Overbought, overbought. What happens here? Pullback pullback these are the moves that we want we're not looking for longs because we're swimming with the whales remember so we're looking at pullbacks look guys how powerful this tool is pullback pullback and then when you get to this region here that's telling you there's going to be some kind of reversal is the bulls going to take advantage of this move you can see the bulls move sideways during this whole area here and by looking at the stochastic we can tell that momentum has got to the top here overbought while price actions just traded sideways, bears have still got momentum, move to the downside, coincided with a move to the downside and the stochastic. So this is how you can use this powerful tool, guys. If you did find it useful, check out my other video on my easily passive income trading strategy.